the most traumatizing moment in Rowling's life was the day her mother died. She was 25 at the time. The death of her mother shattered her completely. This happened six months after she began writing Harry Potter and she was sorry that her mother never knew that she was writing it. After the death of her mother, she moved to Portugal and in 1992, she got married. Soon, she gave birth to a daughter, Jessica. But things became worse. Suddenly, her marriage didn't last long and only after 13 months, she divorced him and moved to Edinburgh with her daughter and the first three chapters of Harry Potter. She was forced to rely on state benefits and spent much of her time writing Harry Potter in cafes with Jessica, sleeping in the prom next to her. An exceptionally short-lived marriage had imploded, and I was jobless, a lawn parent, and as poor as it is possible to be in modern Britain, without being homeless. By every usual standard, I was the biggest failure I knew. Rowling fell into a deep depression and admits she even considered suicide. So, how her life changed? Because she was so poor, she couldn't afford a computer or even the cost of photocopying the 90,000 word novel. So, she manually typed out each version to send to publishers. After sending her manuscript to 12 different publishers and getting rejected by every single one, Rowling began losing confidence in her book. Finally, the publishing house in London, Bloomsbury, a small London publisher, gave it a second chance after the CEO's eight-year-old daughter fell in love with it. Her books has since sold more than 450 million copies, won innumerable awards, been made into movies, and completely transformed Rowling's life. In 2011, Forbes estimated Rowling to be worth about $1 billion. She remains on its list of the world's most powerful celebrities and top-earning authors. J.K. Rowling went from being a jobless single mother to one of the best-selling authors of all time. But it didn't happen overnight. She faced rejection and constantly strived for success. She worked hard at her craft before anyone noticed her. If you have a dream or a passion and you keep getting rejected or running into the failure, don't let that stop you. If you are going through a tough time in your life but working on something you really believe in, don't give up. Who knows, you might end up breaking records. So, what's your story?